Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. If any of that sounds good to you guys, definitely make sure you like and subscribe. That way you find more of my videos and also it helps more people find these videos and help grow our little spooky spoony community. I would be really grateful for it. So today's video, friends, I again, I'm pre-filming this. Um, as you're seeing this, hopefully I am home from surgery. Um, so send some happy wishes down in the comments. Fingers crossed I am home by now. Pre-filming it, Jenny, is going to do some home goods Halloween decor hunting today. I'm really excited. I've been into one home goods previously, like maybe a few days ago, and there was like a small little shelf stuff, not much. So I'm coming right to that same location, but I'm going to check that, and then I'm going to go to like the good home goods. If you've been around here for a while, you know like the one I call the good one because chef's kiss, they always have like my holy grails for the year every single time. Yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and head inside, see what they have. Okie dokie, let's head inside, friends. And we found Halloween. So the first little bit is this end cap. Near the kitchen section, they had different hand towels. I liked this set of like really thick towels. I think it was $12.99 for a set of three. Um, honestly, this bat lace tablecloth, I'm kind of tempted to go back and use, get it and use it as a shawl because it looks very like fishnetty. I don't know. Would you guys do that? I think it's cool. Um, they had some, uh, what was that, placemats? Um, there were these witch hats with spider webs, and they're like one side shiny, one side's matte. I thought those were really kind of cool and different. And they had a tablecloth that had all these different, looks like skeleton hands going up to like grab the plates. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of made me laugh. Um, but that was our first little end cap. And then I see our tall witchy ladies and I know we have found it. So there's this section. It's not a ton, but y'all, it's a great start. So the first, you know, section had the trees we always have. We have a cat and nutcracker situation. The cauldrons we always have. But then wait, can we just look at this little ghost mug? Like he is so precious. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love it. Um... But yeah, and then I don't know where the whole skull or crown thing came from, but we were seeing it everywhere this year. Bath and Body Works is doing it. I guess everyone else decided to do it. Um, and snow globes. Snow globes are the thing. You're going to see today like a million snow globes. They had some mug sets, um, some different like skull canisters, the espresso cup set, um, skull guy. They had this like skeleton hand tear tray thing. There's a witch back there. I think she lights up. I'm pretty sure my knees couldn't bend any further so I couldn't go down to reach to try it out and both of them were on the bottom shelf but I'm pretty sure she lights up um they had this one snow globe that was a spooky house I loved the base on it and when I went to look for the price uh I noticed this sucker is a little music box spoiler alert I might have bought that it was so freaking cute it plays ding dong the witch is dead <laughs> <laughs> which I love Wizard of Oz, so I was all about it. This gold one was cool. I liked the base. I didn't necessarily like the gold skull inside. I don't know, but it, it's really, it's different. You don't see a ton like that. Um, they had, of course, all their different character ones. Um, they had a pumpkin mug like the ghost. This raven snow globe with the bone base is actually really beautiful to outlet. If you had a dark aesthetic, I could see that being cool year round. Um, if you're into like ravens and that sort of thing. More of the, the big things on top, like we've kind of seen before, and all, all of the snow globes. And of course, look, they're bringing our little elf friends back. I'm a friend, fan of the elves, so for me, I'm down with it. <laughs> um, they had some more, like, ravens with books. They had this massive snow globe. It was beautiful, like a bride and groom. I couldn't pick the sucker up. It's too heavy for me, but it was gorgeous. They did have a silver version of the skull snow globes. I love this, like, was this, like, an hourglass kind of thing? I kind of wish it wasn't green. If maybe the bases were black and, like, the inside was just clear, I think that would be cool. Um, but it's different. I, I don't think I've seen that from years past. Some of this looks, you know, very similar. They do kind of similar stuff year-round. Or year-round. Wish it was year-round <laughs> each year. Um, so that was new for me. And then, again, a couple of the things we've already kind of seen before. Um, as far as blankets, there was only one. And it was, like, this knitted but black blanket that had these skulls like knitted into it. It was really thick and nice, but Lord, I could see that being a cat hair magnet. So um, I sadly had to pass on that one, but it is beautiful. Mm. 
I went to the candle holder, candlestick area, and I saw these black ones, which I thought were kind of cool. Um, very, like, geometric kind of style, if that makes sense. Oh, I don't know. Those are cool and different. These lanterns I've been wanting to find. I didn't realize they were $40, um, so I did pass on those. <laughs> Okay, and that is everything for that location. I actually, I totally forgot to, like, do any sort of, that's what we saw. Um, I'm at the other location. This is definitely going to be in. My knees are already, like, rocks. I brought my cane with me. I didn't use it at the last location because I was able to use a card and lean on that. And it actually worked really well. So, hopefully that's all I have to do. I think I'm going to leave my cane in the car because I'm pretty close to the front. So, I should be okay to make it inside, but maybe later in the year who knows how we go but anyway um also sorry i'm really self-conscious about my bangs they've gotten very long like they're like past my eyebrows now and I, so i kind of curled them this morning and they look like a hot mess i have a bang <laughs> trim hair appointment that made no sense i have an appointment tomorrow to get my bangs trimmed it's weird i'm actually paying to get my bangs trimmed normally i would do it myself but the lady who did it originally did the whole haircut did like a razor cut with it and i don't want to mess that up she did such a great job and i'm just like you know what for once, I'm actually going to keep a hairstylist, like, consistently. So, I like your work. Let's do it. I digress. Lord, my brain. I digress. Let's head inside Home Goods. Okay, so this location had way less even than the last one. I'm kind of surprised. Um, a lot of repeats from what we saw at the other location. But they did have this, like, bronze skull it looks very almost like Nordic in the designs. I thought it was really cool. I was trying to find a price on it and up being on the bottom. Um, and you can also see it does light up. I don't, I wasn't able to light it up, but there was a switch too. So I thought it was cool. I haven't quite seen that. It's different. Also, I love this. Couldn't you plant some like succulents or something into it? I don't know. I don't know the price because I couldn't bend down to see it, but I thought it was pretty. Um, probably really expensive, but pretty. <laughs> um, our cat pumpkins, they have these, at least the past couple years of Roseanne. Um, the little, you know, snow globe with the eyeballs. I think we saw all of these at the last location, snow globe-wise. The <laughs> There's a big eyeball. Um, this, like, Victorian bride. This is actually really lovely. This would be pretty even for, like, a Valentine's if you do spooky year-round. Maybe for a Valentine's style, um, design. I thought that was cool. Um, they had a dragon hand with the eyeballs, which I think, again, we've seen in years past. And, again, just the, the big eyeball. Um, that's what we have for straight-up Halloween decor. And not much. They did have this, like, <laughs> bedazzled disco skull over in the, um, bathroom section. Random spot for it, but I don't know, it's cool. I haven't seen a disco skull before, so there you go. And then over in the, um, I think it was the frames, they had these like crystal, it's definitely faux crystal. It wouldn't be this price if it was actual crystals. Um, but these crystal frames, they had quite a few different colors and styles. I thought these were really lovely for like a witchy year round kind of style. Um, there was a gold one up there and again, the different colorful ones. And then I don't know, like that gold three piece kind of thing would be really cool for like a vampy style as well. So I really like this. Okay. So that is what we saw inside Home Goods. Like I said in the voiceover, I'm kind of surprised at how little is there. I guess just compared to what I'm seeing like in Facebook groups and whatnot, other places, other states are having a lot, like almost what looks like fully stocked kind of Halloween. So maybe because we're in the Midwest here in Ohio, it's taking a little longer to get to us. I will say also, I did bump into a gal there. She was looking at Halloween too. She's like, hey, at least it's something. And you know what? She is so right because y'all, it is early July and we have Halloween in Home Goods already. That's kind of awesome. I feel like that's pretty rare. Normally it's like late July slash August before we're really seeing it. So I'm happy about it. Um, I wish there was more, but I I'm happy with what we saw. I will say um, I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm going to go home. Decor hunting videos are definitely going to have to be a little different this year because I was walking in there and my knees and ankles and hips, everything were just like locking up on me and until I can start some new meds, which is going to be at least five weeks, it's going to, I don't know, I'm going to struggle to do like what I did last year and years before where I was going like store to store to store. It's definitely going to have to be a, we check maybe just one location of something and 
see what we got there. So it might be a more shorter videos or may just be still the one a week and um, a little bit less than before. But I still think we're going to find some good stuff. I am excited for this year and um, what all I have planned for you guys. So just be prepared for it to be a little bit different, but it's still going to be a lot of fun. So that is today's video. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, please do hit the like button. It definitely um, helps this video do better. It helps people find the video. Um, it helps the channel, which I would very much I, I greatly appreciate. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Um, I try to do about one a week, but like I've said in the past, um, because surgery is next week and with all the health stuff, this next month or so is going to be a little bit different than normal, but I'll definitely try my best to get you guys one video a week. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Feel free to comment anything down below, anything you saw in the video, anything you're finding maybe at your home goods or TJ Maxx or even at home. Let me know what you're finding out there that's really piqued your interest and you're excited for. So far, there's just been a couple things I'm kind of looking for, um, but if I don't find them, I'm not like heartbroken over it. The one thing I really do want is the Michaels Witch Canvas. So when that comes out, I've got to find a way to either get Craig to go, maybe I can go, have a friend go, somebody is getting me that canvas. Because <laughs> that is my like one item must have for the year. <laughs> but yeah, comment, what, what are you feeling this year? Um, what's your plans if you have any? But thank you guys again. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.